Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi. We will compare and contrast two methods of how you might find the LCM of two numbers. Um, so we're looking at the LCM of 16 and 24. So if we go back and just look at a multiplication table, I'm gonna use my little highlighter here to find the highlighter. All right, so the values that we're looking at are 16, which is this row right here. These are all the multiples of 16 and 24. And we can highlight and find all the multiples of 24. And what I'm going to look for here is I'm going to look for something that the, that's in common. It's the lowest number. So if you're using that strategy and you have a multiplication table, then you start by looking at the lowest number and the, whatever the numbers is higher. So 24 is a higher number than 16. You start asking yourself, well, does the number 24, does that appear anywhere in the lineup here? No. 48, does that appear in the lineup? And it does. So see, 48 and 48, that's a match. So let me just uh, highlight that. All right, so we know that the LCM of 16 and 24 would be 48. But what if you had to use prime factorization as your way of showing that the LCM is 48 instead of either listing out the multiples? Um, let's explore that. So we would find the prime factorization of 16. Let me go back to my pen. And when you um, do this, I want you to try to put in your suspected GCF. So you're thinking, what's the greatest factor that would fit into both of these things. So you might come up with like eight as a, a factor that goes into both. And then you say to yourself, well, what's the other factor? So over here, the other factor would be two. And over here, the other factor would be three. Now, if we kept branching on this and used the Venn diagram to organize our thoughts, oops, sorry about that. Let's see if I can get that out of there. <laughs> can use my clicker. There we go. So the next step would be to go ahead and keep branching. So two times four would be eight. And then we would bring down the two and we would keep branching on any composite number. Four is composite. So we have to keep branching. That would be two times two. And then you wanna bring down all of your other numbers so you don't forget about them. All right, now over here, we would kind of do the same thing. We just copy what we have here, do the two and the four. It's the same exact thing. We would keep branching on the four. And then we want to make sure we don't forget about our two or the three. All right, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at this is our prime factorization for 16. And this is our prime factorization for 24. Now, in our circles, let's have the red circle represent the prime factors of 16, and let's have the blue circle represent the prime factors of 24. Now, what do you do in the middle where the circles overlap? You put the numbers that are in common. So what are those numbers? We have a pair of twos. So we're going to write that down. We have another pair of twos. We're going to write that down we have another pair of twos. So we're gonna write that down. Now, if we were interested in finding the GCF, we would multiply these green numbers together. Four times two is eight, and eight would be the GCF. So I'm just gonna write that up here so we know that the GCF is eight. And we're gonna look at that number again later. And we had that in our trees, which is recommended. All right. Now you ask yourself, well, what am I missing in the red circle to make the red circle the complete prime factorization of 16? We're missing this too. So we have to put that over here. And in the blue circle, again, the blue circle represents the prime factors of 24. So what's missing? Because we have the, the, we have these, the two, the two, and the two, so we're missing a three. So we have to put that over here. Now, if we're interested in finding the LCM, we have to multiply all of these numbers together. So we have two times two times two times two times three. Now we already know that this grouping is eight, right? We already know that all of this equals eight. So we can multiply two times eight, which would be 16, and then to do the 16 times three to get the answer, which we already figured out earlier. But let's look at that again. So if we do two, times eight, that's gonna be 16. I'll write it over here. And if we multiply that with the product of three, and we do the algorithm off to the side, 
So here we get 18. This times this is 3 plus the 1 more is 4. So the LCM is 48. Now, if you're just using a calculator, you could just go across and do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and get the 48 that way. Now, I want to show you a shortcut strategy that some of you might start to realize. If you find the GCF, which you see is 8, the GCF is 8, you take, you look at your lineup immediately underneath your, your original numbers. So what was the other factor here? It was a 2. What was your other factor here? It was a 3. If you multiply these two numbers together, doesn't that give you 6? Now, what would I have to do with the GCF of 8 and the product of 2 times 3, which is 6, to get the LCM, which we know to be 48? Well, what would it be? It would be we'd multiply. So again, the GCF is right here. The 6 is the product of these two numbers. And this is the LCM. Now, the problem that some of you will have with trying to use this strategy, if you don't pick the GCF like you think you have the GCF, then that might mess it up. So if you pick 4, then that could throw you off. So you really want to try to actually use the GCF in your tree. And again, if you don't know the GCF, here it is right here. Now, of course, will just simply multiplying all the numbers that you have here work? It absolutely will. And just studying the numbers in here should help you identify that too. Because again, where does the, num the, GCF, the LCM come from? It's the product of the GCF times this, the product of that and that. So 8 times 2 times 3 is 6. Multiply that in and get the 48 that way. All right, so hopefully you found this helpful. Now, in this case, it's not really easier to do the prime factorization. In this case, listing out your multiples of 16, listing out your multiples of 24 would have been faster. However, if I gave you numbers that were not on the multiplication table, let's say I gave you the number 46 and uh, like 78, you know, then that in that case, this strategy right here that I'm showing you will be your best bet.